Hey everybody, Sean Tierney here. And in this episode of the Automation Minute, we're gonna talk about the 1756 DNB device net module. I'm gonna go ahead and grab it here and we'll take a look at the front of it. You can see it says device net on the top and it says mod net, IO and OK indicators, as well as that networking indicator that tells us what's going on. Is there a fault on the device net? There's a whole bunch of codes you have in the back of your device net configuration book, your, uh, uh, you know, your manual on device net. It's just, uh, it's uh, required if you're ever gonna do device net. That's the book that tells you how to ground the system correctly, the number one problem people have with device net. And um, it has all the codes in there that tell you what, you know, the, to relate what these numbers show up on the device net module uh, mean, you know. Um, and uh, it's a great, it's a great way to, 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 uh, to diagnose what's going on with the network. Let me go ahead and open it up here. And internally, you'll see I have my five position terminal block um, uh, receiver here for my uh, device net terminal block. You can see it's, diagrammed here and how it's connected in here. And uh, of course, red is plus uh, 24 volts and uh, DC is minus 24 volts. And again, that negative side has to be grounded in one place uh, on your system. That's uh, something in the book and most people miss. Then we have the communication here. And that's where the resistor goes. When you put the resistors on the end of the network, they go across the communication lines. Um, we also have this manual configuration button here as well. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the label. And if we look at it, we can see we get the catalog number and the series. So 1756 DMB and series A. And then over here, we get the series and firmware that it came from the factory as. And we also have a date code of when it was manufactured. We have a barcode number for uh, if you're gonna have a warranty issue with it and a lot of other information on the, uh, on the side there. Now, if we look on the other side, there's nothing. There's no switches. Or, uh, or anything. This is all configured uh, from the software.